if you want to get to the big guy, you have to go through them first. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game sub-bosses. <laughs> Not to be confused with end level bosses, these are the guys you end up fighting early or midway through a certain stage or dungeon, yet still stand out from your average enemy. We're ranking them based on how memorable their fights were, as well as how designed said battles were. Number 10, Hunters, Halo series. Not all enemies in the Halo universe are as easy to kill as grunts. Gamers can't help but groan every time they run into a Makara Golo, or Hunters as we prefer to call them. As the mightiest beings in the Covenant, these bad boys won't go down without a fight. Armed with heavy assault cannons and protected by a seemingly indestructible shield, Hunters can knock you out before the fight even begins. Keep on your guard though, and eventually the beast will be left vulnerable from behind. Even after slaying the hunter, however, there's no time for the Master Chief to stop and rest. Number 9. The Pursuer, Dark Souls 2 The Pursuer more than earns his title as he refuses to give up pursuing the player throughout the game. This formidable knight is built like a mountain and carries a blade so gigantic that it would feel cloud strife with sword envy. Despite his massive size, the pursuer moves swiftly and can literally walk on air. You're better off not getting too close and attacking from afar, although he can still close that distance in an instant. Claiming the pursuer's soul is a long, arduous process, but isn't that what we've come to expect from the Dark Souls games? Number 8, Toka and Razor. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. In the SNES version of the game, before you face off with their master, you'll need to battle this mutated snapping turtle in Grey Wolf. What Toka and Razor lack in brains, they more than compensate for in strength, which is a key component in beat em up games like Turtles in Time. With one specializing in fire and the other specializing in ice, they make for one formidable team. However, as long as you're skilled in the art of ninjutsu, aka button mashing, you should be able to revert them back to their more cuddly states. Number 7, The Berserker, Gears of War. If you think berserkers are big, bad, butt ugly dudes, you're wrong. They're actually big, bad, butt ugly ladies. Although berserkers are blind, they have a strong sense of smell. So unfortunately, there's nowhere to run or hide when one picks up your scent. What's more, their practically indestructible bodies certainly give the macho Marcus Phoenix a run for his money. The only way you're getting past these suckers is with fire. A lot of fire. From the sky. Still, the process of taking a berserker down is likely to drive you, well, berserk. Yeah, yeah, easy pun, but we did it. Sue us. Number 6, The Tank, Left 4 Dead series. Do we need to explain why this guy is called The Tank? Just look at him. We think it's pretty self-explanatory. This infected brute is arguably the toughest foe you'll come across in all of Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2, but he can appear anywhere throughout the game. You'd have to be a gaming god to take down the tank all by yourself. You'll need your entire team to help defeat this big freaking zombie, and even then the tank can easily take out four players. You better just pray you saved one of those Molotov cocktails. Number 5, Dr. Salvador, Resident Evil 4. Chainsaw. Move over Leatherface, there's a new masked madman in town. Every time you hear a chainsaw revving up in Resident Evil 4, you're in for some trouble. Standing out from the rest of the villagers like a mutated thumb, Dr. Salvador is one local you'll want to keep your distance from. 
That is, unless you want to see one of the most awesome decapitations ever. As if killing him once isn't difficult enough, Dr. Salvador pops up numerous times throughout the game. We're not sure how he keeps coming back, but what we really want to know is what kind of doctor carries a chainsaw. Number 4, Star Wolf Mark II, Star Fox 64. We'll just see about that, Star Wolf. You didn't think getting to Andros was going to be that easy, did you? Just when you thought you'd seen the last of them, Star Wolf and his dastardly crew of space pirates show up after you arrive on Venom. Too bad Dad's not here to see you fail. This warm up to the final boss comes complete with everything we love about Star Fox 64 slick shooting mechanics, fun vehicle combat, repetitive one liners. Star Wolf may be good, but hopefully you're better. You're good, but I'm better. This is even harder because Fox goes at it alone from this point on, though we all know that Slippy would have just slowed him down. Fuck! Number 3, Big Daddy, Bioshock. The Big Daddy is the character we all associate with Bioshock. When the player first comes across one of these metal juggernauts in Rapture, you may think that they're impossible to kill, but with strategy and the right weapon, they can be destroyed. Once you finally take down Mr. Bubbles and level up, however, there's a strong possibility you'll become overwhelmed with guilt and pity. Listening to the little sister cry out will only add to your mixed feelings. But surely you made the right choice, right? After all, that Atlas dude wouldn't steer you in the wrong direction, right? Number 2, Dark Link. The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Although he technically first appeared in The Adventures of Link as the last boss, his appearance in The Water Temple is what sticks with us the most. The fight puts a creative and enigmatic spin on the notion of one fighting their own shadow. When Link initially encounters his evil doppelganger, he's practically see-through, and striking him is easier said than done. With every hit, though, Link's reflection becomes more and more opaque. Once Dark Link is fully exposed, the real Link can show him that light will always prevail. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You're just a tiny stepping stone on my path to the throne. Who dare you? Number one, Insidious, Bayonetta 2. In any other game, a creature as big and booming as Insidious would be the final boss. Hell, it's already nicknamed the consumer of all. In an over-the-top experience like Bayonetta 2, however, this giant manta ray demon is only a sub-boss at the beginning of Chapter 7. The fact that you're not even halfway done with the game at this point just goes to show how much crazier your journey will get. And even after all that, he ends up swallowing Bayonetta whole, and it's here that you realize that the stage only just starts. <laughs> Platinum Games really doesn't let you stop for breath. Do you agree with our list? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were the most persistent stalker I've met yet. What's your favorite sub-boss? For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.